Hey, this is Tech Enthusiast, and over the past few days, I started testing another great Windows 11 customization tool called Windhawk. And here are my thoughts. So, what is Windhawk? Windhawk acts like a customization marketplace or a hub for various Windows mods. Now, this tool isn't only for Windows 11 users out there, but they also support Windows 10 and other Windows programs like browsers, for example. Now, I think that the program explains itself best by installing it, and now let's get going on with that. Now, just go to their website, for which I will also provide a link in the video description, right below the like button, of course. On their website, click on the blue download button to get the Windhawk setup exe file. And when the download is complete, you can close your web browser and go ahead to your downloads folder in File Explorer. Now here, double left click on Windhawk setup exe file. And here I recommend that you just click next. Now, you will also be prompted with the admin prompt and here you must select yes, of course. And uh, after that, the installation should begin. And here we are in the Windhawk program. Now, the first home page of the program is separated to two sections. The first one is called installed mods, if you have any, of course, and featured mods. So the featured mods, there are some of the mods which are currently most popular among the users. And at the bottom, we also have explore other mods option. Now, if I click on that, we have here a lot more mods which we can install. And on each separate mod, you can see the rating of the mod, how many people are actually using the mod and also the details. Now, right now I will go through some of the mods which I think are quite useful for Windows 11 users. First one and my favorite one is called Taskbar Labels for Windows 11. It has 5 star rating and currently it also has 407 users. Here you can click on the details for the specific mod. On these details you will have simple description of the mod, what it actually does and also some of the screenshots. You can also here see the source code because I believe all these mods are are made by the same developer and also all are open source. You can also see them on the GitHub. If you have C and C++ knowledge, you can also click here fork. And here you can basically create your own spin on the mod or create even your own mod for the Windhawk. So this one is only compatible with Windows 11, as it says right here. At the bottom, you also have no limitations tab. And here, this is basically what issues you can expect with this specific mod. Now to install the mod, you will simply click install here. And here you will be prompted that you need to proceed with care because malicious mods can damage your computer or violate your privacy. And here it also says that install mods only from authors whom you trust. Now, I believe that most of the mods on this program are made by the same author, so M417Z, and he is also verified on GitHub as well as on Twitter. Now, here you can accept risk and install, and right now you can see that the Windhawk is installing the mod called Taskbar Labels for Windows 11. And uh, after the installation, you can also see that the mod was applied. As you can see, we have this taskbar label on our Windows 11. And here on the Windhawk, we also have a few more options. So here we have the settings for the specific mod. For example, this one has taskbar item width. So you can change that if you want to. For example, here I will type in 200. So you can see the change being made. So if I click save settings, you can see that this tab or this taskbar item is more wider, as you can see. But one issue which I stumbled upon when using this program is that if you have, for example, a lot of the programs open, this taskbar label will go into this icon tray at the bottom right. So let me show you how it works, this issue with the mod. So if I open up a lot of the programs and you can easily see that at the bottom that it goes into the system tray. So what I recommend that you do not open a lot of the programs and this would fix the issue. Or if you want, you can also reduce the width of the specific taskbar item. 
Now let's go straight to the next mod. And the second mod which I also recommend is called Disable Grouping on the taskbar. So on this description it says that it causes a separate button to be created on the taskbar for each new window. And this one is also available for Windows 10 and also for Windows 11. So let me show you how it actually works. So if I open up the notepad and then once again the notepad, you can see that we have two instances in the taskbar for the notepad. So the next mod which I also recommend is called Taskbar Clock Customization. So here it says that it supports Windows 10 and also Windows 11. So this one it allows that you change a few options in your Taskbar Clock. So basically here you can show or on show seconds, time format, change the date format, week date format for example you can also show web content URLs, for example, some of the news and few settings here and there. Really nice mod if you ask me and uh, it's quite useful as well. And the last mod for today is called large taskbar icons. Now this one is only available for Windows 11, I believe. And if you go to the settings, you can change here icon size and also the taskbar height. So as you can see, I have this mod installed and the taskbar is also already larger. So for example, you can select icon size to even smaller. So for example, here I will type in 20 and then I will select taskbar height, for example, to the 40. Now I will click save the settings. And as you can see, we have smaller icons on the taskbar as well as the taskbar is overall smaller. Now I think this mod is also quite useful if you want for example crisp and small and compact taskbar and uh, yeah this is pretty much it for this mod. Right now let's take a look at the RAM management. So at the home page of the Windhawk program you can see that I have currently four mods enabled. So let's take a look how many of the system resources Windhawk mods actually use. So if I close Windhawk, you can also see that the system tray icon is also still here. So this means that the Windhawk is actually running in the background. Now if I open up the task manager and let's take a look at the resources. So Windhawk is right here. So it has two processes, I believe, or three. And uh, here it uses 0.6 megabytes of RAM and the other one uses 2.2 megabytes of RAM, which I think that combined is below three megabytes of RAM. And this isn't too bad for what it actually offers in my opinion. So only three megabytes of memory usage for all the added features, I think isn't too bad of a sacrifice. And I also almost forgot that this Windhawk program also offers mods for the specific applications, for example, the browsers and also code editors. So for example, if you go here to the explore page, you can see that you can enable, for example, Chrome Edge scroll tabs with mouse wheel, Visual Studio solution icon, Visual Studio anti-reach header and so and so on. So these are some of the other mods for the specific Windows programs, which are also quite useful. And now let me show you how to uninstall Windhawk program. So basically first you need to exit it in Windows system tray icon. So basically right click on the icon, click exit, and then you can select here exit Windhawk, click yes on the admin prompt. And after that you can see that Windows goes back to normal. Now you can go to the control panel and here select uninstall a program. And here basically select Windhawk and uninstall from there. So, this has been Tech Enthusiast video. Thank you so much for watching and for the 13k subscribers, let me know if you tried Windhawk mods in the comment section and if you haven't already, make sure that you click on the brand new white subscribe button and don't forget on the like button as well. You can also support me on coffee.com, link in video description. And with that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.